Talking Conversation Podcast. Shout out Migos. T. Fuck. <laughs> Get it feeling that shit down in the spine. Shit be going everywhere. When you drink alcohol, that shit go. You start to feel it. That shit go down to the fingers, down to the toes, all types of shit. Everywhere. No kidding. Talking Conversation Podcast, 051. Uh, Talking Conversation by Rich. Uh, back again. I got shirts and hoodies on sale. Uh, any color you want, just let me know. Uh, you know, I get that to you. You know, you take a picture, just send it to me. You know, I post it on the page. You got get me one, and, uh, for sure. Yeah, on God, just let me know. On God, uh, I got another guest on today. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey man, what's going on, man? It's your boy Kim Mill, man. One half of the Blood Brothers. Y'all already had my boy ninety four. Then my bit, uh, my bit brother. You know what I'm saying? Real Blood Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, we can't chop it up today. You know what I'm saying? God, what what podcast Cam was? Cam was like, I think Cam was O twenty three. Something I think like Canada that. 23 yeah, early, early on Y'all wanna go back And watch that You know like he said You know it's his brother And shit You know they got They uh, rap group and shit But uh We got uh Ken in this motherfucker Uh Where you from And shit like that You know You know what I'm saying From the south side You know Uh Grew up Old in that Old in that College Park area You know what I'm saying Then moved to Fed You know what I'm saying go, Went to uh Santa Cruz High School You know South side area all of that. Yeah. Shit, what uh, college you at now? What's your major in there? Uh, I go to Kennesaw State up here. Uh, my major in information systems with a minor in uh, applied statistics and data analysis. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm a math guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Smart way. What, what's the, uh, what, what's something you said you were? What you said? What you said your major was? I never heard that ever in my life. Information systems. Information systems. What's and that? Then, Information system is basically the computer, the technical part of it. I'm trying to be a data analysis, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So then my minor is applied statistics, and then it's an actual minor of uh, uh, data analysis mm-hmm. as well. You, so you already took a statistics already? Uh, Yeah, that's easy, piece of cake. Yeah, I'm God. I got statistics right now in my summer class, I'm God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, see, what you trying to do? You said your data analysis and shit. Yeah. Shit, you know, robots and shit. You thought about that though? Robots taking over and shit, taking nigga jobs and shit. Well, what? So like Dude. that's the them, them would be one of the jobs. I, I I would think data. Yeah, for sure. Information. It would definitely be one of the jobs, but but you still probably do something else with that though. Yeah, okay. probably for sure. They gonna probably take their job though. They gonna do that easily. Shit, what jobs you think robots can't take? Mm. They can't take rapping. Mm. Uh, they can't take music. I mean, they can make music as far as production. But they can't do no, you know what I'm saying? They can't actually rap. They ain't doing that. That's pure vocals. What what, what else though? Besides rap, what else you think as far as a job though? As far as uh Yeah, let's say a nigga can't rap and he was like, damn, I need a job, but a job robots ain't gonna take. What what, what job bro gonna take? What uh, job can he get? I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> the way this universe set up a robot is gonna be able to take any job. They're gonna be able to wipe out all humankind. I can't cap to you. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it a buck. And I say that because. Gotta keep it a buck. And I say that because. The the thing like I just seen a robot the other day, literally walk up, like on the on the street on the sidewalk, walked up the sidewalk, pet a dog, and just walk back to the owner. Like just walked up, pet the dog, and walk back to the owner. I seen it on Twitter. I'm like, what? Walk up, bend over. It looked perfectly normal, like a real human. They put human clothes on and everything. Look perfectly normal. That shit weird. You wouldn't know it's a robot if it wasn't silver. I ain't gonna lie. I be, I be stuck. I be stuck in two places though. Like, I be feeling like I be having two sides. It's like, like I be, I, I, I accept what it is and and it just is what it is. But also another part of me be like, damn, that shit weird as fuck. Like, why do humans always feel like? This sense to innovate and create more and be better. Where does yeah. that come from? Like that shit crazy. I mean it got it to where where we are this far, but like to where you creating something that might fuck around and and, 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 and take you out. Not even take you out, 
Mm-hmm. I was I was just thinking in terms of I don't know it is freak ass niggas who got the money to bid on the robots and shit so we don't know what's they plan and shit like that but as far as um my view of it I can see robots doing all the lazy work all the mm-hmm. shit nobody wants to do and they be like on some Wally shit everybody fat and just so and just like you know not really doing too much I mean that's basically going that way now I mean you you ain't really gotta you ain't gotta leave your crib for shit at all. They got subscriptions for fucking coffee, subscriptions for, for meat to be sent right to your door. Right to your and door. fucking, you know, Amazon got the same day delivery, you know, DoorDash and okay. shit. You don't have to leave your crib at all. Really, though, like, the reason why these why robots going to be able to do all this stuff and why, why it's like this is because if we being real, the one key to the world is money. So folks going to do whatever. Yeah, so they ain't gotta pay. You ain't gotta pay robot shit. Just gotta keep up with the maintenance. All of that for sure. And they gonna sell them stuff too for a whole lot of money. Everybody that's creating these robots, they gonna sell them for a whole lot of money. How much you think? How much you think? If I had, I got my phone right. Yeah. Boom. And I remember like when I was in middle school, like there was a little commercial on YouTube. The new iPhone was gonna be holographic or something. You put it on the ground, it popped up holographic. Yeah. So if I took my phone right here, right, put something in it, and it popped up holographic, and you could type like like a regular computer, right there. How much you think that'd cost? Well, it first coming out, shit, probably like this is just this is just the idea. It's twelve, like no, thirteen. It ain't no. It ain't. I no think that phone, that phone, that phone might be twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. That phone would be twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. And then it get low. It's just like everything else when it first come out. But this would be something that'd be so advanced. Well, especially if it came out right now. But they say about five years, then it might be eight hundred, nine hundred. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So let's be real. Now, I, I imagine that being mass produced for everybody in the world. It can happen. A lot of shit can be mass produced. That's billions to trillions of dollars, right? Yeah, for sure. So boom, the person that created that, he like, okay, dang. Not thinking about how it could be taking out all the computers in the world, how computers won't be needed no more because you got a holographic phone. Not thinking about that, but they thinking about the money aspect as as to. Do you think a holographic phone would take take over? Oh, computers? for sure. Just imagine you wouldn't have to carry a computer no more. At all, no need for these big these big old things right here. At all, mm-hmm. no need for them. You don't got to carry them no but more. I would say the computer is more like screen size. Well, you know, like you're you're pulling out a holographic keyboard. You said mm-hmm. no you're still keyboard looking. and the screen, like as in the desktop screen, to pop up and the keyboard to pop up, behind, like both of them, both of them gonna pop up. Man, that's gonna cost way more money than what I thought. There, yeah, that's some that's some high tech stuff. But that's the type of stuff. High-tech. That's the type of level we on right now in this universe. That's what that's the type of stuff that's that's like. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's producing some holographic stuff right now. You know Probably what I'm got that. They had Michael Jackson holographic site after he died exactly. in 2010. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised sure. as to that right now. I mean, all them, all the shows and and movies and shit that you see, like as far as technology, they be pressing on the screen. It really don't be nothing there, but they just pressing on it and it's doing shit. Like Iron Man. Yeah, for sure. Like Iron Man had that back in, like. I mean, shit. That shit probably already real. I'm not gonna hold you. Exactly. I've seen people making Iron Man already. That for real, like there were people hovering in the sky off of jetpacks, for real, like like Iron Man style. Got the mask that just closed by itself on the on the on the voice command. Mm. It's crazy, but yeah, though. So like, the amount of money that people gonna get for creating creating stuff like that, creating technology and stuff like that, the amount of money that people gonna get is gonna be crazy. They ain't gonna be thinking about how it could be changing the world. They're just gonna think about the money that they can get from it. Cause you I know think, I would. You think it need to be a limit on money though? You think it should be a limit on how much money you can get? I ain't gonna lie. Some folks can have their own country, but then again, it's like I earned this. You know, I made this. How you gonna put a limit on it? Which is true. I'm gonna be real. Do you think there should be a limit put on your money? No, but I wouldn't have a, a, a astronomical amount of money. I'm saying like when you get to a certain point to where. You got more money than some countries GSP Like What they bringing in As far as their like economy Elon and shit Musk. Yeah Elon Musk Bill Gates Them them type Them type niggas who, who up there Like They got enough money Where they can 
they can get them a country, get them an army, like, mm-hmm. and, and do certain shit, you know? Sure. So, that's what I'm saying. And, like, they got enough money to where, you know, they just taking over, like. Like, you type in something on, on Google or type in something on the internet, you're going to get YouTube videos. You're not going to get videos from, like, no other sites. What's another site we even got video? Do you Can you give me three other sites to where you would go watch it, it, and, and go find a video? Everybody pretty much knows if you want to watch a video, go to fucking YouTube. Exactly. For sure. YouTube every time. So what if somebody like me wanted to create another video streaming site for people to go upload their videos to? How would I even... How would I even get folks from not even on YouTube anymore? There used no more? to be some sites out there. There used to be sites what, out Vivo? there. Vivo? Yeah, Vivo used to be out there. Yeah, I, 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 that's but about like, it. It ain't no real. Niggas not going to Vivo in middle school, probably seventh grade. That's real true, though. Like, I ain't never thought about that. It was, ain't it ain't no real site. Like, where, what other site are we going to watch videos on besides, like, TikTok Except, and Instagram and stuff yeah. like that besides social media? And, and them really apps. I'm saying, like, nigga on a, watching video how to do something, like, I mean, you can't really type that in on, on Instagram. Can you type in how to how to do this and the video gonna pop up? Hell no, nah, niggas no. Go to YouTube, type that shit in. For sure. I mean, does does Facebook is Facebook considered one of those apps? No, nah, Facebook is just so it's still social, social media. Yeah, still social media on God. Because I know that's still that was a, a primarily computer based app to start with though. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, on God, I remember niggas on Facebook, man. My, my, that my older brother, my older brother had got in trouble for making a Facebook. I used to get in trouble for making yeah. Facebooks. God. For sure. That shit crazy. But uh what you uh what you do uh in your your free time shit like that? Um oh, they, they may not know and shit like that. You know, I know it'd be it'd be weird. Like I be having folks who I know mm-hmm. on here. So like, I be asking like what you doing your free time? Right, but I be knowing like but you know, just you know, on some shit. You know, besides the music, we gonna talk about the music aspect a little later. Besides the music, on on my free time, what I do, uh, I help some of my hom- my homies with math. You know, everybody need help with math. You know what I'm saying? So, on that aspect, I always help my bros with math. Anybody that need help, they can hit me up. You this, know what I'm saying? This is this is so weird. No, nah, it's actually not weird at all. I know what the universe be yeah, doing, like for sure. But like, yeah, I just got statistics and like, probably gonna need some help in that guy. Oh, for sure. Just mm-hmm. cause I had a lot. I had like two semesters ago, and I failed that shit. I ain't really give a fuck though, <laughs> but feel that shit. Not that I hate math. I, I don't know. know I just man. don't feel like I doing always, work. I don't feel like be. I don't be feel like doing you know, work. You know, one of them little special talents that you always get. It's not mm-hmm. even that you necessarily like love it or like it for real. It's just you just blessed to be good. You're with You're just it. blessed to be good with it. Facts. So I ain't never like all the way from from pre K to high school. I got an A in every math class I ever took. You know what I'm saying so, and it was all 95s and above, and mm-hmm. I could pull up my report cards to prove it. You know what I'm saying. Right. So it's like, and it's not that I just was just loving to do math. I ain't do. I really didn't do no homework for real. I really didn't. You know what I'm saying, of course, I did it when I was with dude or whatever. But I really ain't do no special treatment or nothing. I was just good at it. You know what I'm saying. So it was one of them things where I might as well spread the love a little bit. You, know you think that's your only hidden, not hidden skill? One of your skills you just, I don't want to say, I don't like using the word blessed, but. I guess I'll be using hidden word talents. One of my hidden talents. I want to say hidden because you, cause, it cause, cause you're aware hidden, of it. Yeah. You're aware of it. Yeah. You know and shit like that. You helping folks and shit, so you're aware. So like, what other talents you use that you got then that you say uh, you, you naturally had? Naturally, um, I I've been a natural athlete. I don't know. That's that's always a talent right there. Athlete. I've always been a natural athlete. Um, of course, everybody everybody hoop and stuff like that. Everybody ain't athletes though. Everybody ain't athletes. And and to be athletic and to be athletic is to be able to move your body in movements. Like not even jumping high at all. Just being athletic, being able to do different movements and shit like that. On some deep connection body shit like like yeah. No cap though. Uh I'm a game head too, though. Mm-hmm. I've been good at games. Uh, it's not. I ain't gonna lie. I can't really. I can't really cap. I, I'm not really that good at sports games as far as Madden and 2K. I I, I bet on myself because I love myself and everything. But you know, I, that's not my strong suit. My strong suit is more of the Call of Duty, Fortnite, mm-hmm. the GTA's, the all of that type of stuff. The the, the uh, non non sport games. Those are the games that I really go crazy in. So I've always naturally 
been, you know what I'm saying, into that and those types of That's crazy. Games. Niggas love games. Like, why do you think that? It, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I probably like these past, this past year, I ain't been playing a game like that, like I used to. Like, you know, I'm probably just waiting on the, if I get the PS5 or Xbox, I just know the type of mode I fall into as far mm-hmm. as just being on the game a lot. But uh, niggas be, you know, niggas just grow up like playing games and shit. Shit be crazy how much time niggas spend on games. For sure, that should be crazy. It's like, it's like, uh, basically, all the game is doing is taking the 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 people that really ain't go outside like that as a kid, the people that ain't really that and have many friends in their neighborhood and stuff. They didn't go out. Well, I went outside when I was a kid. I can't catch you. I went outside. I played football every Friday night. Friday night, like my chase boys, you know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We had my neighborhood was deep with all my brothers, but. As far as those those rainy days when I couldn't really go outside, the game, you know what I'm saying, they was the out that was the outside. You know what I'm saying? All my bros was on the game with me. So you gotta be better than your bros. I always had that mentality, I gotta right. be the best. A healthy competitive a healthy you know competitive so, fire. You feel like all niggas are competitive though? Like I, I be having a competitive job, but I feel like my competitive job uh, has my competitive job be has like infiltrated like other parts of my life where yeah, probably sure. where probably yeah. that would probably get you in some trouble. Yeah, for sure. Uh, as far as being co- competitive, uh, like I don't really think all people are competitive. Just because most people don't have that dog in them. Competitive spirit comes with dog. Like in order to be competitive, you got to have some dog. In you you got to want to win. In order to want to win, you got to dig, be able to dig deep inside of you and say, "All right, let's let's win." Come on, you got to be able to put the team on your back. You know what I'm saying? So most people, like, that's the problem with most of these young boys. and Not necessarily young. I, I, I sound crazy calling them young, but, you know what I'm saying, these ninth and 10th graders and, and, and these high schoolers are still, you know what I'm saying, playing basketball. Like, I don't hoop no more. So I can tell you that, you know what I'm saying, what I'm watching, what I'm seeing, me looking back to what I could have did, I should have had some more dog coming out of high school. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I could have been able to play in college. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like. Me seeing that some of these people, I mean, some of these young boys don't have a really dog, I, I think I, you should be able to, somebody should be able to tell them, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your dog, bro. Like, wait, how you, how yo, you how, can't, I don't think who you brought can the dog nobody. out of you? Who brought the dog out of you? I was just when thinking, I don't have no dog in me. You don't got no dog in you? I, I would say I got a. No, nah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got some dog in you. I don't, I don't hoop with you. The dog is the it, but I, I but is is dog the like you said the losing shit like I don't like to lose but but if it's other niggas on my team like I probably won't say nothing to them just because like I be knowing how niggas is mm-hmm. you know no, like no I ain't even saying it like that though the dog is the what I mean by dog is but I feel like you would say something if you got a dog and you would say something. You would say something to anybody because you just exactly. care about winning. Exactly. I care about winning, but I wouldn't necessarily be, you know, all in a nigga face. Be like, do this, nah. do this, do this type shit. No, 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 no. That's not necessarily the dog. That's being stubborn right here. That's being stubborn. That that what I mean by dog is take the example, no friends on the court, for example. No friends on the court. If you going at it with your bro and and you consistently getting in your bag, getting in your duffel, or you know what I'm saying, or making your bro better. That's dog right there. Hmm. That's the that's the intensity. That's that's what I mean by dog. That's what I mean by that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a mind person. I be knowing some people you can talk shit to, some people you can't. Like if I'm playing with my friend, like I'm a funny person. I try to make them laugh, get out their game, maybe a exactly. little bit, or or, or what's your name, talk my shit. But I don't know. I don't normally even talk shit until like a nigga say something to me first. Yeah, I'm like, for sure. Why well, I'm even gonna say that? I talk to myself on the court uh, a lot, and uh, or did. Still talking to myself on some shit, but like on some, on some, uh, on some other shit. Yeah, for sure. But uh, you ain't the only one though. What, 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 what I was gonna say? Like, when I start sweating, like I don't even sweat like that. Yeah. Like when I move, like I would say the only thing I sweat in is probably when I do like MMA training and shit like that. Is when I really sweat. But like when I was hooping, I barely sweat. Like I could play like a full game and like when we don't sweat, but like. If I start talking shit and shit like that, then I start sweating and shit. Then yeah. I know it's over with. Cause the nigga warm then. Yeah, that's sure. all it be. A nigga get warm is pretty it's much over with, over with for anybody over. on the planet. Over. I'm not missing at over all. Over with. 
I done seen it. I done witnessed it. Oh shit. I can't cap to you. I ain't gonna lie to man. KSG right open, man. I ain't right back open. I don't even like it. I might not even go up there. No I got time, hurt so. yesterday though. I think I'm just supposed to stop hooping though. Like I think the universe be telling me like, yo, you need to be doing something else though. with your with your um with your body. I'm fucked, man. Instead of hooping. I'm fucked, dang near uh kick me out of the gym. I ain't even Are they kids out the gym for? Man, look, so I knew my my roommate had summer classes or whatever. So I knew that, uh, you know what I'm saying, mine might not work, but I was going to try mine anyways. You know what I'm saying? So before I knew that mine worked, my ID worked, I had my roommate ID, which just so happened to be on me or whatever. So when I'm walking into the gym, my plan is, you know what I'm saying, have my roommate ID, maybe swipe it or, you know what I'm saying, use mine first and see if mine worked to get in there. So boom, when I swipe mine, when I tap mine at the little desk thing, it went green, so I knew it worked. Right. So as soon as I tapped in, I guess I accidentally swiped my roommates or whatever. But, well, I ain't no I guess I did. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I walk in there. And then AJ texts me. He say, boom. He say, they looking for you up here, bro. I say, what you mean they looking for me? They say, apparently, like, when you tap, the picture pop up on the screen or whatever. Mm-hmm. So the, the little girl at the desk done caught the supervisor or the manager or something on me. Mm-hmm. Looking for me, so as I'm walking out, I'm tri- I'm actually about to walk out the gym just to go home. Right, like I'm really about to walk out to go home. My brother had just called me, say, "Come on." So I'm finna walk out. The lady stopped me up there. She say, "Can I see your ID?" So I gave her my ID, my real ID, and then she pressed me for my roommate ID because she knew that I swiped my roommates. Mm. So she pressed me for it. So I said, "Yeah, I have it. I have it. Yeah, here." So boom, I gave it to her. She say, well, I'm going to need your roommate to come get this ID and all that type of stuff. And you ain't going to be able to get into the gym until this because uh, this is fraud and all that other type of stuff. So I'm like, man, uh, what? Man, they be tripping. Oh, my God. Them niggas done built some shit. Man. That's what they use they our money for. Real, exactly right They use there. our money to build some swipe in and shit. Nobody even going to that gym for real no more, bro. I ain't gonna lie One time they pissed me on One time But I wrote a review Under they shit <laughs> I ain't gonna lie I get mad I be writing reviews On the folks shit On Google Oh god But that shit be funny as fuck I'm geeked up man <laughs> Man So look boom Now it's my turn To ask you some questions So boom How you feel As far as Uh the, this presidency going on Like with Biden And stuff like that How you feel Biden is a fucking pedophile Kamala Harris It's fake But y'all know that Y'all should know that And uh man All this shit man Really some Some fucked up wig shit mm-hmm. Some freak ass shit too Super freak ass shit and all that, man. And they so be why you think that? And they be wigging y'all out y'all. They be wigging out. They be wigging y'all out y'all. Uh, wigging y'all out y'all mind for real. Elaborate. Yeah. On what though? On on, on, on your opinions on, on why? On, on which one? On on Biden first. Most of this shit, I ain't gonna lie. They just trying to push this. They trying to have a. They just trying to divide more people. They just trying to divide everybody. And at, at this point. They really just need to divide us, honestly. This shit really over with. I believe that niggas need to go back to segregation, honestly. <laughs> niggas need to go back to 75% segregation. I would say, like, black folks need to learn from black folks, buy from black folks, be with black folks. And then, like, we can play sports with white folks and, and you know, do some business with them. But the main thing is going to be black folks helping black folks, like, I feel like. Because, like, niggas ain't going to get out of this shit, like, until... You just with black folks, cause you gotta know. First of all, you we in we in like we know this country was made off of like mm-hmm. as far as you know just everything. So for you to think that you're living in a I want to say European or white a white a white society like this day country like so why would you think that it will help out? Well, you I'm a, you're I'm a, not white. I'm gonna go back real quick, real quick. Do you think Jesus was black or white? What do you believe? All three. All of this is all three Christian. All them, all them three Christianities is fake. 
all them, you see, this is why I'm believe, asking this question because I believe all three. Christian before I, before we elaborate on this I don't topic, in Jesus. before we elaborate <laughs> on this topic, before we elaborate on this topic, so boom, I have, I'm a Christian. Yeah, but. I, I would never try to. I would never try to talk no nigga out day. For sure, I, 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 that's I, I, one religion, thing about it. But I would just ask certain niggas like, exactly. Do you even know? <laughs> exactly. Do you know? See, most people. The reason why people have their opinions is because they go through experiences. They everybody has their own text, testimony. That's what I've learned in the past couple of years. So like, testimony. You also definitely said testimony, but you mean what's testimony. my testimony story? How do you own story? Everybody has their own story to. to mm -hmm. To give them reason as to why they believe okay. in certain things. Okay. So everybody was raised certain ways, and everybody like I was raised to go to church every Sunday, and you know what I'm saying with my mom and my dad, Facts. and my pastor put stuff in my in my head that made me believe that I was a Christian, which is why I believe that I was a Christian. Because I believe that God told him what to tell me. And I don't ever want to, you know, you I want to say this too. Like, if, if religion that helps you be a better person, that's all That's all that really matters, you being an individual, Correct. better person. So I feel like if religion has made you a better person, then, hey, that, that is, you For know, sure. that is what it is. But as far as what it actually is, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't what they say. Like, I had somebody told me, I had somebody tell me that, and, and, and she, pointed, she pointed it out in the Bible as well. She said, Christmas is is not supposed to be celebrated. God doesn't like Christmas, and she pointed me at pointed it out in the mm -hmm. Bible, and and I uh, topped it up with my pops about it, and you know what I'm saying. He of course he 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 uh, sw swayed to the side of uh, you know that's foolish. That's um yeah that's but this is what they actually meant or gave me his interpretation of it. But I have my own interpretation of it as well. You it's, know what I'm saying? That's that's my whole thing. Like you got a book. You read it, mm -hmm. and it's your interpretation. Like it ain't is what it is. So like, like you say, it's interpretation. Like, it's the way you take it. How you take you, it. Like I don't like it's it, it's certain shit. And in, 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 I ain't never. I ain't. I ain't grew up in. I ain't grew up in the church. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. We went to church a couple times Sunday. We went for like maybe like for like a for like a couple like couple like seven months. We went strong for like every Sunday. Right. But you know that was just on some you know just on some on some family shit. I, I just think it's some shit to do family on, time. on, on, on mm -hmm. Sunday. Not really knowing, as a like. Family you know. made tradition. Yeah, to yeah. Do something like that. On some, you know. Mm -hmm. As far as like know. New Year's, going to church on New Year's Eve, a family made tradition. Something I ain't like never that. go to church on New but Year's Eve. Yeah, my parents made me go to church mm -hmm. 18 years. I don't, I don't uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I like that I did it. I don't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take any days back or nothing. Right. But, you know, I don't do that. I don't know if I'm going to do it this year or whatever. I would say the way I was raised, you really didn't want to to do nothing. Right. I would say that's why. You know, I kind of, you know, my parents, like, we really weren't forced to, you know, you want to do something, yeah, you can do to support you in that. Mm -hmm. Uh, But, you know, yeah. But as far as the, you know, the religion thing, you know, no. Nah. Because like you said, with the interpretation, like searching in the Bible that I done read, where I'd be like, this mean that, and then it'd be like, mm -hmm. well, no, nah, let me tell you what this really mean. It'd be like, oh, exactly. how you know what the fuck it really mean? <laughs> exactly. Like, who knows where the who knows where the Bible? Like, like we I'm weren't reading, allowed to see none of exactly, this. Like, I'm this. reading it exactly as it say it in. I'm reading exactly as it say it in this, and it's kind of like I know psychology, and if, if you mm -hmm. if you really believe in something, then then this is why it, 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 it's gonna happen. You know, because because you believe in it, like your mind is very. Niggas don't even understand their mind is so powerful. Okay, look, look, look. What you see in the non conscious I got a mind trick for you. Look. So look, this this is going on the subject that you is just coming from. This is why I, all of what you just said is the reasons why I believe in world controversies and, and conspiracy theories. That's the reason why I believe in it. Because we weren't allowed to see this and most people that wrote about it also weren't allowed to see it. They're just coming off of past knowledge of what they found, of, of history, or knowledge of, of what they thought about it, their interpretations. So, here's an interpretation for you, right? And this is for all y'all, too. I want everybody to think about this. I asked a whole lot of people this question. I know the answer to it, but it's like, it's, it's crazy, all right? Mm -hmm. So, boom. We got rocket ships. Mm -hmm. We got airplanes, correct? Mm -hmm. So... For a couple of years, I used to believe that the Earth was flat. The reason I believed that the Earth was flat was because flat, flat Earther. <laughs> listen, the reason I believe that the Earth was flat because the Earth is a sphere. 
it spins, rotates on the axis. So if you have something that's constantly rotating as a sphere, but never moving in direction, going this way or that way, but it's just going in a sphere, rotating constantly. What, what is the reason that we've tried all for a whole lot of years to go straight up out the earth? But what is the reason that a plane, a plane can fly straight this way, right? And is it never going straight, is it going straight that way though? Cause I, I ain't got recently I was in an airplane and I and I felt the plane and 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 you know you're turning you're mm -hmm. they're slightly turning while 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 they're in the air like it's not right, straight but you know I'm not giving it no de certain destination okay I'm just saying that it's really going straight okay. as in this is like I take a plane and I, I'm putting in a straight line it's going to go straight no matter what it's going to go straight in that direction mm -hmm. no no turns no nothing and it will never ever fly out the side of the earth ever it's never gonna fly out the side of the earth yeah because it would have to keep going it would, it would have to keep going but straight. the earth is a sphere so basically if we're trapped inside of a bubble for example yeah. if i keep walking i'm gonna walk out that bubble eventually i'm gonna get to the end of it but that plane ain't never gonna get to the end but you're walking on ground the plane is in the air regardless of where it's going Regardless no, but air, when that. when you're in the air and when you're walking, like we're gonna have a bubble, okay? We got a bubble, and you walking, mm -hmm. a plane is flying, you know. Yeah, for sure. What you're saying, a plane is just flying straight, like you're walking. For is, example, is what you're trying to say, and and eventually it should just fucking go off, go straight out to earth. Eventually, it should. That's what it's supposed to do. But let's be real, like there's levels on the ground. There's levels, so we're sitting halfway above, the, halfway on the earth already, because there's levels underneath us. We're already sitting halfway up, if we're being real. So the plane is really at the top of the earth when it gets up there already. Mm, not really. That. It's the it it's it's like the plane be up probably like fifty two thousand feet in the air. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it'll take to be actual out of space, but you know it's a it, it it's a good amount of distance. And plus, to go straight, I mean, if if you really know how long a plane can actually fly that long without making stops and and so, and all that, it would take a long ass time from how big the actual Earth is fat as fuck. Like, right. you can't just go, what's your name, and think you're going to do that all in one plane ride right, anyway. Look, here's what makes it crazy, though. This is what makes it crazy. This is what makes that whole, cra that whole question crazy. Because, look, the Earth, if it's, is this a, if it's an actual sphere, that means... If we're standing in the center point of the earth, the uh the the amount it is to get from right here to this side should be the same as from right here to up, right? This direction should be the same length or the same amount as going this direction. If we're sitting in directly center in the earth, right? Correct? I mean directly yeah. center. I mean, yes, so, it, it it should it should be. So if we've been to space and we've had a rocket ship fly directly out of there, right? That means it, that well, it's the Earth is kind of tilted too. It's not just a western; it's kind of tilted too, and it's rotating very fast but slowly because it is so big. Correct. But regardless, it's rotating. If you spinning, if I'm if you spinning the circle, you're gonna be if you trapped in a spinning circle, bro. Are you gonna be able to walk out straight out of the circle, bro? Or just be real, like you're gonna be able to walk out of that circle if you trapped in a spinning circle. Are you eventually gonna be able to get from here? Over there, in the spinning circle, are you never gonna be able to get there? No matter what, you always gonna end up in the center. You're gonna be walking around the circle. You gonna just be walking around it? Yes, you would be walking around the circle. So you just gonna be walking around it, just like that. You just gonna be walking around. It. If if I gave you a if it had like a machine, a circle machine, and like a rail around it. You could just walk around the rail and never and never go off the rail. Is what see you not you not picking up what I'm putting down though. All right, take a basketball. Okay, you're sitting directly in the center of the basketball, right? In the On basketball. The so basically, the basketball is filled up halfway. Yeah. Okay. So you're standing right there. Okay. okay. In the center of the basketball, it's tilted a little bit and okay. it's turning a little slow. Okay. Right. You're walking. Okay. It's a door on the out on the on right on the side on the left side of the basketball. You're walking to the left side. Are you gonna be able to get to that door and open the door and walk out? 
Yeah. All right? So that's what the earth is doing right now. We're standing in the center of it. We're already in the center of it right now. It's rotating slowly enough, so we're not seeing okay. it rotate, but it's doing it. Okay. Right? Yeah. So a rocket ship can go straight up evenly. This this distance is the same amount. They're both even. A rocket ship can go straight up and out. But an airplane can't go this way. If an airplane goes this way, it's going to keep going, and it's going to end up right here again. Right where again? Right back where it came from. So you believe an airplane will be able to go around around the Earth in one, in one stop? No, that's not what I believe. I just believe that the Earth, the airplane will never be able to fly out of the Earth. That's all I'm saying. It's never going to be able to fly out of the Earth. They're not designed to fly out of the Earth. If they were designed, but they're going, but airplanes, to. airplanes aren't going straight up. They're going to locations that regardless are regardless if it's going straight up or straight down or straight left or straight right. It's the same distance. So, regardless, not of necessarily. How, going, how? You're saying if the plane is in the middle of the Earth, where is the middle of the Earth? If we gonna be, if we gonna <laughs> talk about this, we gotta really talk about it. Like we can't. Like you're being very vague. Like it's a very like, it's a very big question, which is why I believe in conspiracy theories. You, exactly. oh, you, you just think the Earth's flat, okay? What you no, I don't believe sun? that the Earth's flat because oh. I know the answer to oh, this okay. question. I'm waiting for you to say oh. the, the answer to the oh. question. So, what do you think about the sun then? Yeah? Well, when you was a flat Earth, what do you think about the sun? The sun is definitely outside of the Earth for sure. It's a big star. I don't have no conspiracy theories about the sun. I have like. The sun is the sun for sure. There's nothing you can tell me about the sun right now as to No, but I'm saying, what did you think if it was a flat earth, you think the sun was just moving down? I think the sun doesn't move at all. It just stays stationary. So what do you think about the flat? I'm saying when you was a flat earth, what did you think? How do you think the earth was just standing in the middle of the in the galaxy? <laughs> You thought this alone? That's why I be thinking. No, I didn't necessarily think the Earth was flat. I thought it was a semicircle, mm. as in it's just the bottom, mm. and then you know, like that's crazy as fuck. I thought it was a semicircle. When folks, I, I be wanting folks to really like think like how how long that's a long piece of planet, nigga. It is very long. <laughs> but there was, but I'm being honest. Before I knew the answer to that question, there was nothing that anybody ever had ever told me. That would Otherwise, you and I also it. had believed that there's no way that we could get out the Earth because the, I I used to believe that 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 uh, space shuttle and stuff like that the uh, the little drone that they got outside of space that's looking at the Earth I believe that that's fake I used to think that because there's nobody that ever walked on that like what's we call it then walk on the moon mm. and put that flag on the moon a lot of theories about life and just what it is all of that. Mm. Yeah, man, she be, she be wild. So, who you think God is? I believe that God is the Maker, the Almighty. You know, the Creator of the planet. In my eyes, do you have a description of God? If I'm being real, I don't have a description of God. I believe that God is a spirit. God is a spirit that just. Um, I don't think anybody's seen God besides people in heaven and they might not have seen them or her do you believe we go to heaven do you believe we go to heaven or hell after for death for a time I thought we got reincarnated but I was always told to believe that we go to heaven or hell but for a time being honest I always thought that once you die your spirit or the reason why people are being repopulated is you just forget everything you just go to another creature yeah i think i, I believe in like your you know your spirit goes on you just go into another vessel like but like you know you just you just don't know because it's your spirit like so i feel like the spirit thing is it's crazy because spirit thing goes with the purpose thing in the re reincarnation like everybody here to do certain thing everybody got interest in certain skills that make the planet go of course you know everybody not interested in the same shit or it'd be fucking chaos mm -hmm. you know and you know I, I think about it like you know you need weirdos you need rappers you need such and such you need such and such you need scientists you need all these walks of life to make the world the world go so that's where I am with with that I believe the black woman is God honestly I believe black people are here first so I believe 
Yeah, most you know, people you really believe that make, Jesus was black. You can't make you can't make um a man though. I believe most you, people believe, to make I believe to make to make others you need like I believe in the universe like, you know, like the God is I think I think the God is the universe like. Yeah, for sure. Like just you know the sun need the sun for everything and mm-hmm. and just you know, like yeah the, the necessity of what you really need to to go on and move life like you have sex with a woman and create reproduce and, and just and just help it just grow and grow just like right. the, in the animal kingdom you know certain animals kill certain animals certain animals you know die do certain weird shit you know it's just it's just what it is like so that's why I think like everything got a purpose here on the planet like this is what it what is what is here for. Right, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. And I believe sure. we are gods, like all individual us, like as far as what we can do and just like what we capable of and brains and just like our brain and shit and just like mm-hmm. I believe we are individual gods and people. If you think of yourself as a god, you love yourself and then you know you go out here in life and just you won't be looking for place. yeah and won't be looking for acceptance from other people, or looking for certain shit out of other people because you know you got that within yourself like. You know, I'm I'm gonna start to say this, or I've been saying this like for for a minute, but like I just think you're just supposed to be, like when you, you you're supposed to have everything you, everything within yourself, and like right. everything else just supposed to be in addition. Like you're not supposed to be needing, you're not supposed to need no love for nobody else, or need such and such from, from other shit. You know, you're supposed to have it yourself, and it's supposed to be an addition to your life and your happiness or whatever. So for sure, that makes sense for sure. Oh God, all of that. You know, shit. So what, what what do you think about the Egyptians and African history before being brought being brought to being brought to America and other parts of the world because it was more than one slave trade. Uh, so social studies. What do I think about social studies? I would say I don't want to use fuck. I don't, don't want to call it social studies. History. I just call that shit history. Yeah, that's how God, it is. Just the, you know, as far as you know, Egypt and the Golden Age, and then you know, uh, after that, after that, you know, just what happened to black people after that? You think, you think the Egyptians were, were worshiping Jesus, uh, or had a concept of Jesus? Do you know when Jesus was created in that story? See, that's the thing. Like, they say that first man, first woman on earth was Adam and Eve. Jesus created them. So, I say, okay, does Adam and Eve populate okay, from that? See, from that first story, I think that first story is some bullshit. We yeah, just gonna look exactly. at it. It's some it's some magic shit that you just. Like once you believe that story, then you can believe the rest of the book. You feel what I'm saying? Because now you're you, you're thinking of ways right. that, that don't happen. A man, man made a woman. People. A made a man made a woman from his rib. That's just not you know just possible in today's time. Like that that that's some that's some magical shit. Like women, only a woman would be able to make another mm-hmm. person. Like that's just the way that is. Like ain't no like even now like with with the gay thing and just you know. You just gotta, you know, for men to have babies, you know, for if a gay man wanna have a baby, like obviously they can have babies now just on some on some weird science shit. They, they just can? created Yeah, oh God. What? I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of freak shit going that. on. A lot of freak shit going on, like that community, the L G B T community, like huh. they they trying to take over the world, honestly, I, I believe. Like like people be thinking like it it be hate or slander, but like it's not, it's it's y'all can do what y'all do, but the the, the mm-hmm. trying to force they're literally trying to to force us to see them to force the ways of it's them it. and make those the norm yeah. when it's not the norm at all mm-hmm. it's it, it just not and y'all it, it, y'all can just take that and accept that and just be like okay and then this is what we doing like why y'all trying to force it on the western name like florida just signed they, they they're trying to and if you know if you i don't know if you know this, but in a couple states Transgender women, which was men that say now they're women, mm-hmm. and went through that process. They are playing sports with women, with with women. And in Florida, the governor just blocked that shit and said no, they're not going to do that because in some other states, there are men that are wrestling with women and beating them, and that's not that's not fair at all. Like that, not even on no, that's not no. 
that's some simple understanding shit. Men are naturally stronger than women, and like any scene like that, a man yeah. is going to win that. For sure. Because you're you're a fucking man. Like that's what that is. Like no matter like if you try to you know say you're something else. Like mm, as know. far as your biology, like you will be more powerful than a woman. That's not fair to to just women that were born that way. Like that's not fair to them at all that they gotta go against this. This is a damn near impossible. Right. Damn, it really is damn near impossible. Like everybody knows that. For sure. When that topic is is brought up to me, I usually just you know, um, I don't have really I don't be having nothing to say towards it just because I don't get into all of that. I have my own opinions. I keep my opinions to myself. Um, just mostly that's it. That, but that's another people thing. People have is, their opinions, people think know? they can't say their opinions because. It's scared of conflict. No, it's or, not, not, not I wouldn't even say scared of conflict, but you don't even want, you don't even want nobody to be on no tripping shit because you're not coming from a form of tripping. No, nah, it's not even necessarily scared of conflict. My opinions are factionated. Like, I like to get facts into my opinions. So, yeah. I don't speak with, I try not to speak stuff off my head until I know for sure, you know what I'm saying, this is why I think it. So, I have an inference and I say, okay, is my inference this? And I go do some research sometimes, or I might just stumble across something that says, oh, okay, this is why my inference is that. Like, as far as coronavirus, I had inference that it was government made. And then when stuff started coming out, that's when I started speaking about, oh, this is government made. And I had to show the facts. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, as far as those. The, okay, well, how do you feel about what I just said about the, the, the transgender as far as that's a fact that oh that's a fact are. for sure as far as like men playing women's sports I was thinking about that as, as like basketball as well too for example uh, if I were to just you know, as an example if I <laughs> if I I don't even like I ain't even gonna use me for example if my friend were to turn into a transgender or were to uh, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily turn into a transgender or, you know what I'm saying, but were to be a transgender or t- turn gay um, and went to the WNBA. And I had been playing basketball with him for a very long time, and I knew he was amazing. So it was just like, bro, you're going and you're doing stuff versus girls. That's just like a, a dude boxing. Turned into a transgender and going to box. For doing women's box, yeah, and it's like, like you would kill that girl. It's like, why? Why? That's not fair at all. That's not what competition is, right there. That's just. I don't right know. There. Like, that's I, another. I kind of want to have a stubborn. transgender on on my podcast, talk to them, be like, just you know, I just want to know, like, what. I I, I don't get how people they, could think could exactly. think that could be fair at all. Like that. That's how I know, folks. That's See, some dumbass shit. I I mean, you can't really think about that too much because, like. That is what it is. Like a man is just naturally stronger than a woman. Just like See, in the sports can competitive this is, play. This that is, shit is so unfair. This is the thing about it though. Like, okay, so as far as girls being gay and, and stuff like that, that's one thing. You know, I guess don't be wrong, I love girls. I will never like a guy. But I guess people are entitled to liking what they like. So that's their own opinions, I guess. So you know what I'm saying? So because I like I like girls, and that's my opinion. So that's not, I mean, that's a fact for sure. But you know what I'm saying? I like girls. So people can like whatever they want to like. But as far as taking the, switching the game up and going from liking what you want to like to, into liking for what you want to like and being that and then going to the extreme and, you know what I'm saying? Taking it up there and trying to prove that you're one of those now, like that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't necessarily agree with all of that. I don't necessarily agree with that. So the reason why I don't, the re, and the reason behind that is because I feel like the way people are born is they're born like that for a reason. So a girl can't change that her genes are not going to be. I mean, there are some very strong girls out there who are just born strong. But they have a male gene in them. That's that. That's very rare. You know what I'm saying? So females are just their genes aren't meant to be like males, and males' genes aren't meant to be like females. So for you to cross to try to change that using your genes is just not fair for anything anymore. It's not fair for the universe. 
you could change everything. That's just you could change the whole world's perspective of everything. No, they about to start doing. It's some gene editing. Like, it's a couple. Um, See, gene like you got editing. Enough is money, you got they got enough money for gene editing. Like as far as you can pick your your baby's like hair color, eye color, and shit like that. But you can't pick your like, baby's strength. You can't do that. Cause if you could pick your baby strength, then I would be strong. My dad would have made me tall and strong. No, you gotta have a lot of money to gene editing though. Mm-hmm. That's some new yeah. shit though. I don't think they had that shit back then. Yeah, probably not for sure. But you know, that's more of the robot side too. Yeah. Oh God though, that's more that the robot shit, side. For sure. You know, I'm sure you know about the soft AI, hard AI, and shit like that. The soft AI, hard AI. Like that it is. Like soft AI, I remember me watching this video and it was like a baby in the screen and it was just like this baby had like emotions and was crying, but it was like on on the screen had a name and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You had to feed the baby and it would cry and shit, and and, and it would grow, but it'd be in the computer screen. Oh, okay, and like that would be like some soft AI and hard AI would be like shit, like you just said, motherfucker bending over touching dogs and shit. Yeah, for sure. That's some wicked ass shit. I done seen a lot of robotic stuff in the past couple of days, bro. It's crazy. It's very crazy. And why? Why is that that you seen that? Cause you look, you look for it. Uh, no. Let me also tell you another thing. The way these phones and stuff is set up, it's crazy. Oh, no, how no, they no, 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 cap, no, no cap. I was just gonna ask you. You seen on TikTok or something? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Did it just customize? Yeah, to what you be customizing with them? You know yeah, everybody I mean? see different shit. Everybody see different. Don't matter shit. what I do, I go yeah. from Instagram to TikTok to Twitter to yeah. all of that. Like they're all the same. Everything is the same. I see the same stuff on everything. Same you just type of put jobs. you in these bubbles. That shit bad. It's just bad because like you have no. I mean, for certain, I mean, you you just looking at robotics, you know, probably like funny shit and shit like that. But for people who not, who maybe are into political shit, they may be just viewing one side shit and not getting no bounce back off their opinion. So they just think that they're right all the time. I ain't gonna lie. You, you, you not getting any pushback on your, your opinions and your ideas and shit. Mm -hmm. After a while, you will be thinking like you're right all the time. So that's how a lot of shit nowadays is just so, so like the right and the left just so it's a conflict like cause like they just believe that they that they way is super right exactly and all it takes is a conversation honestly man I be I feel like all people at their core want the same things but all the extra shit gets into it you know all the distractions and shit uh you seen the uh movie Social Dilemma on Netflix Nah, I ain't saying that, but people uh-huh. keep telling me to watch it. I'm probably gonna watch it tonight, to be honest with you. Yeah, for sure, gotta do that. I ain't doing that. Shout out Golden Flake. I just wanna be sponsored by two folks Golden Flake and um, Casamigo. <laughs> probably gonna start tagging them. No kidding. They the way to go. Yeah, man, probably the best chips, man. Shit, uh, what you, uh, what you got going on this music thing? Uh, music so, thing, thing, thing. You know, uh, we got a couple of projects going. So, you know, uh, of course, just so y'all know, I don't, you don't do no cussing, no profanity in our music. We plug that, but I don't necessarily plug it everywhere, but just so y'all know. Um, but it's still top notch, still up there for sure. I promise you won't recognize it. I promise you won't recognize it. Y'all, what people don't realize is, before I tell y'all what we got going on, people don't realize is Dirt, Baby, Gunna, like, I just re- I was just listening to them, all of them the other day specifically to see if they cuss in all their music. They have songs out there where they have not one cuss word in it at all. No matter what they talking about, it's not one cuss word. Dirt got a lot of them. Drake got a couple of them. Like no cuss words, and they don't even know they didn't cuss. So it's like most people don't realize it just because of the the stuff that's being said. It's all about the lyrics. What I be like is just tell people that because people believe that. The way the universe is, just, as far as music goes, people got to talk about sex and drugs and cussing and ways cussing and talking about guns and stuff like that is the way to do it. That's not, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to cuss and you don't got to describe women as, you know what I'm saying, targets and stuff like that as the the whole word and stuff like that. You don't got to talk about that and all type of music and stuff You think like they don't that. know that? Oh, for sure. You think people don't know that? As far as, like, as far as, like, people coming up and trying to rap 
Like as far as them, it's always just about, about that. The reason why they do that is because it's always about the reason why they say those words is because that's how they talk regularly. Like, mm. so it, when they rapping, they rapping their regular experiences. So if you mm. see a girl as a hoe, you gonna call her a hoe in your music because that's what she is to you. You know what I'm saying? Now when you start liking your first girl, or you start, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about a girl that you really, really like, you ain't gonna call it no hoe in that song at all. Period. Point blank. Like you never gonna do it. You never go. It's never gonna cross your mind. Baby, for example, he got him when he started messing with Jada for real. When he got on there, he stopped calling her a hoe. He stopped using it as a the b word, the bitch word. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never say that. You know what I'm saying? So he stopped all of that when he started liking her for real. You know what I'm saying? It came back when they fell off again, but. You know, people no most people don't really recognize that, but you know what I'm saying. That's how it is. That's why people cuss. That's why people talk about drugs. They really do these Percocets and stuff every day. Some of them really don't because they think that's what people want to hear, but some of them really do them, and they're not even supposed to be doing. They ain't even built like that. Yeah, you ain't even supposed to be doing Percocets. You ain't even supposed to be doing Mollies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, God. But, anyways, back on topic. So, music as far as uh projects and stuff me and my brother we got a little we dropping the, our first little love song single hopefully we're gonna shoot a little video i can't even give y'all no insight on the video but hopefully we get somebody tagged in there that's real good um we're gonna shoot a video uh, that's gonna drop like this june 18 uh, around that time then we're gonna drop a little our mixtape our summer tape in july and after that we're probably gonna uh I don't know if we're going to go in single individual. we just going to see what we got going on after that. When did y'all, when did y'all say, let, let, let's do the group thing, you know? Like, why did uh, y'all do, why did y'all start an individual? Or we all started, y'all just like, let's do the group thing. It, I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, It didn't even, it didn't even start up like on purpose, like do a group. It was my brother who had made a song on graduation day one day, his graduation day. I heard it. It was like I was like, "Damn, this on hard." I might want to make me a little song, so I made one, and then he started making songs up there in college up there on his own. And then I was making a couple of songs over down here. On God, on God. So bro. boom, bro, funny on God. I remember, bro. As he asked me, "Got damn." Mm-hmm. I asked me, "Got damn" about like the mic and shit, bro. I was on that bit, he got that bit. Bro. I was on that bit all the time. I'm trying to tell you, he brought it home and all that. So after that, um. Really, uh, that's when I had graduated that following year, and then uh, my dad had told me as a graduation present he'll take me to the studio because I had let him hear one of my songs. Of course, I didn't cuss, but my brother, I think he had maybe one cuss word in one of his songs, or a couple cuss words in his. So, you know, he uh, he, I let him get on one of my songs. When he came on because he said it was hard, so he got on it. He made it. I let my dad hear it. He was like, oh, this hard or whatever. So, boom, he ain't never really said, think nothing about it. I just asked him to go to the studio. We went to the studio. My brother was there with me. So, of course, I told him to get on the song because I didn't even have the whole verse. Yeah, facts. So, boom, the songs just sounded hard. And then we made three of them. So, right after we made three of them, my dad came in there. He heard them. He was like, oh, these these kind of hard. Like, these songs kind of tough. We dropped a couple of them. And then the type of support, the love we got from everybody was just crazy. It was like, oh, these are really hard. Like, like they were really fire. We didn't think nothing of it. We like, hey, were really fire. Like, I was like, okay, cool. So, of course, we went back. It was fun. So, we went back to the studio. Okay. My dad enjoyed a little father son time. So, we went to the studio with Pops, you know, just chilled in the studio. Uh, made a couple more songs and it kept on getting harder. We kept on getting better and we kept on loving to do it. So, the passion increased. And also, it kind of just unfolded like that and not really done playing, shit like that. Well, not, well, kind of. Kind of playing like to go to the studio, but not right. like how y'all formed Western. Nah, none of that. That's why we kept. That's why we ain't necessarily. That's why we still in school. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why we ain't necessarily just quit everything for rapping because we also believe that although we are tough, although we can make it, we still can't. In a sense, we still. You know what I'm saying? We still got to get this degree. We Fact, still need. Do you to feel like? Up. Do you feel like if you could devote all your time straight to rap, that you'll probably get to where you're trying to go quicker or um yeah that's that question yeah no mm. only because i believe that as devoting your time as a rapper you start to believe that you are meant like your profile is a rapper mm. so 
are you thinking about is going to the studio and rapping every day or making some money to get to the studio to rap. So I like to say, like, you know, people need to venture. People need to have other ideas and, you know, stop trying to invest all their time in one thing because if you invest all your money in one thing, then what? Sometimes you run out of money. First. Now, if you would have took some of that money and invested it into some stock somewhere and, and invested the rest of it into your craft, then boom. But if your craft don't work, you must have forgot I was filing the stock, so I just went up in the stocks too. So right. I went up in the stocks, and I ain't even take no L on the rapping. Oh, well. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So people really don't think like that. But that's First thing, I get no money in the crypto and stocks. I just had a podcast. Uh, my last podcast, nigga, was explaining all that shit. So, uh, yeah, I want to go watch that and learn about that. You know, last one. Oh, 50. I think that was oh, 50. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn, I'm geek. I'm so geeked up, bro. I don't know. I've just been super tired these last two weeks. Like, yeah. I don't sure. know what it is. I don't know if school finally done caught back up to me from, like, the spring semester. Because, like, I was straight after school. I and mean, I guess my mind thought, shit, you still there. But after this shit. Yeah, this shit. Like, I just want to get in the bed and just do nothing and eat fat ass foods. I don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, I'm finna go ahead and start back working. I just that's what I've been on since school started. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I be I I I need. I think if I had like a, uh, I be no really. I'm trying to get like 15, 20 folk workout. Honestly, that's what mm-hmm. I be trying. To. Really, I'm trying to get all my followers. Yeah, like to go run. Really, honestly, for sure. I really just want everybody to start running. Shit hard. Shit, good cardio. Get your mind right, man. Cardio, I love cardio. Gotta I was always a type to, you know, I ain't never really got out of shape. Mm. I was always a type to really be in shape forever, so I could always go run a little seven minute mile, six minute mile if I want to. If I needed to, I could push myself to do it. Now, consistently, as far as day after day, yeah, I can do that. But as far as run a six minute mile and then come back a couple mm. of hours and run another one, I don't know if I can keep doing it like that. I shit, I was never a running type nigga though. Yeah. I hated running. I always just had energy. This shit is so weird that I be just running like this shit is it weird. It clear your mind for sure though. I like to walk too though. I like mm-hmm. I take I take long walks like mm-hmm. you know just put my headphones on and walk, listen to beats and stuff like that. I like yeah. to see the outside. I like mm-hmm. my outside is my creative experience. Yeah, I'm yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like to walk outside. Like if I'm walk. I, I feel like I like, usually like to go on a long walk. I, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't thought about it. Yeah, I be, I be fucking with the nature shit too, though. But I be, I guess, walking. I be walking everywhere else. So I guess when I'm out in nature, I'm going to run and yeah, get a nice, sure. little, I'm a, nice I'm little sweat, a, nice little cardio. I'm a, like a, I'm, a, I'm a deep thought type of person. Like right. I think I think a lot. So when I'm running, I, I might be looking at a tree and be like, I wonder how. Woo, 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 woo. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then really your thoughts is a What kind song. of music you listen to you be running? Uh, I'm a type of uh, I like Juice World. I be listening to Juice and um, Trippy and mm-hmm. not necessarily in my feelings music because they ain't necessarily in my feelings. I throw and thug in there all the time, yeah. and I love listening to Baby When I Run. That's my favorite artist, by the way. I ain't gonna lie, when I be listening to like rap, hard rap music like Baby or some shit like that. I find out like nigga be trying to run faster mm-hmm. and shit, and I be listening to. Uh, I got an Africa playlist, so some African artists. So I be listening to that on some smooth. Well, it be it's R and B, but they got African accents, so it just mm-hmm. sound hard. So for sure. that's what I be listening to, and I be running and shit like that. So that shit be give me a nice little pace, like I just go three mile real quick. Definitely, you know. Get I don't up know. Do that. I, don't, I don't really run that long though. I don't really run three miles. I might run two, two and a half. I don't really do that long though. My yeah. type of running is short, but efficient. Like efficient, short, efficient, yeah. Efficient, yeah. Efficient, you know oh, God. Saying? Shit, I really got down. I like to run when it's hot outside, too, though. So I know, God damn, you're going to sweat. I just be needing to sweat. That's how that be. Yeah, I'd rather the hot than the cold, for yeah. sure. Shit, what you got planned for the rest of the year, 2021? Uh, Really, I ain't really got too much planned. I just, I'm probably just going to, uh, Make this more music, run up this money somewhere, stay down, you know. Um, you gonna get tatted? I really want tats, but you know, 
out of respect to my pops. My pops believe don't believe in tats. Oh, so I'm facts. trying to convince them to, you know what I'm saying, believe in some tats or right. at least when I get steady and when I get official, you know what I'm saying, or when I get some money behind my name mm. and I'm living life the right way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You get some tats. Get yeah. tats, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was all used to draw myself in school. Yeah. No cap. Really? It's crazy. A lot of a lot of this shit that I do now, man, just I just wanted to do when I was in school. Like I always just wanted just to leave and go get some French fries or like some wings <laughs> or something. Just like little simple shit like that. Yeah, it's just freedom, bro. Like Yeah, that's how they be. <laughs> all it is, just freedom. Being able to do that. That's really that's really crazy cause like like I really being being living in your own apartment and stuff like that or getting your own spot. No cap. You know what I'm saying? You, you go back really, to the crib. I don't think I, I ain't slept back at the crib in two years. Man, like, what? Like nigga not be trying you, to go to You crib. realize like if you're really out here now. Like, yeah. Like, really That shit hard. You ain't finna get no money unless you go get it. So you yeah, gotta go for get sure. that stuff. And, gotta go get that stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like really got your old shit. You really got everything. It's really funny. And as fuck, it though. really feels so good though that everything is yours, and you can do whatever you want to do, to the to the extent that you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So like, God, nigga, pay for all this shit. Oh, I love it. That shit, wow. Hey, I ain't never thought about that. That's what make it deep right there. God, so what's your IG shit for the folks to to, to, to get at you? Uh, my IG is Tres dot Ken. That's T R E S dot Ken. That's a Spanish three. Uno dos tres. Tres dot Ken. Yeah, I feel like I'm in that language. I went to Miami. Yeah. I need that talking a whole other language. Mm-hmm. Gotta see what the fuck they talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know my IG man. Talking conversation. Twitter TC podcast without the T. Shirts and hoodies on sale. Uh, search thirty hoodies is fifty. Gotta get me one for sure. Uh, yeah, man. Just let me know. Uh. Trying to come on the podcast, inbox me. You know, I don't have everybody in the world over here, so you just go ahead and get off the list. Um, yeah, man, you got any closing closing remarks? Uh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow Blood Brothers on everything official Blood Brothers. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna tag all that too, though. For sure. Yeah, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, follow me on Instagram. Appreciate you for having me. You know what I'm saying? I want to come back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all no cap, for though. Part two. We can definitely no cap, part though. Two. Four or five years. One nigga. It's going to be a whole nother. It's going to be a whole nother world environment for sure. It's so it's going to be hard. Different environment. It's going to be know. crazy. Super. No cap, though. We're going to put this clip right here in it, too. Right in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, to start it off. To start oh, God. It off. No kids. God. Though. Talking conversation. Podcast.